Good morning. Today we're going to go over a workflow I created. Um, and this was created to help me prepare for the next version of the workflow generator that I've been working on. And this workflow here, as you can see, is already published on N8N. Um, and I'll put the link to it in the descriptions. But this allows you to take a Google Drive folder. As you place documents in there, you can have that automatically uploaded into the vector database so that you have a constant knowledge base of whatever you might be working on and that the AI agents you use it for will have that knowledge um, in, in generating the outputs that you want it to. So let's go into the details and I'll go over the steps inside the workflow. So to get started, <clears throat> what you want to do is have a, a folder set up on Google right? There's going to be two folders. You're going to have a parent folder and a um, child folder called vectorize so that as the parent folder documents are processed and entered into the vector database, they will be moved into the vectorized or child folder as it's processed so that it's not going to get processed again. And the reason we do that here is because we have two ways to trigger this workflow. One is the manual test here, which is pretty standard. But the other thing here is it's going to constantly monitor that folder. And if there are any files in that parent folder, this node will look at that and see, say, okay, cool, there's a file here that I didn't see before, and I will start processing. And as you can see, we have a loop. And right now, it's only going to process one file at a time. Um, you can change that batching if you like for future use. It's going to download the folder and then based on that download and the type of the file, right now I'm parsing three different types, a PDF, a text file, or a JSON. And as it's downloaded, this if the switch node will determine um, based on the MIME type of that file, what type of file it is and then process it accordingly. And then from here, once it's extracted, um, you know, here, so you can guys see there's really nothing much more than just this basic setting for the extraction. So we'll extract the data from these three types and then put that into the vector database here, right? So I have the collection names, the table names um, all set up and then I can, the other thing you want to make sure you do here in this data loader is include the metadata, all right? So that the, again, the AI agents, it's use, as it's using it uh, for whatever purpose you might be using it for. In my case, I'm using it for the workflow generator, and I'm going to do another video um, to show you guys the next version of the workflow generator. But uh, I need to make sure that I included the file name as well as a file ID. Um, so that I can reference those files by name. I also include this gold metadata where uh, for, and you'll see that in my next video, where by ask, telling the AI agent to look for the gold tier files, it'll give it a higher priority in searching for those that data within the vector database. So by default, I'm going to set it to false. But if I do have some files I want to have the AI agent give higher priority to in search, I'll set that to true um, so that the metadata for that file as it's loaded is being properly indexed. And then the last step here is just simply to move that file that's processed and put into the vector database into that child parent folder called vectorize so that it's not going to get reparsed and re-entered into the database as it's uh, on this trigger schedule. So that's really it. I just needed a, a, a mechanism to parse the various file types I was working with for the workflow generator because I'm you know, putting in PDF files of like tips and tricks, I'm putting in text files of different N8 and workflow files, and then also JSON files of the actual workflow. So that's all there as sort of a brain or a knowledge base for my next workflow that I will show you guys, which is the, the next version of the workflow generator, the N8 and workflow generator. All right, hope this helps. Pretty straightforward, but uh, I did want to put this out there for you guys to be able to use. And again, this is on 
N eight N in the creators section or the workflows section as a uh, template you guys can use for free. All right. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.